Hey, it's Brittany, and we're here at Epcot today. We have a lunch reservation for the San Angel restaurant. Uh, I think it's San Angel Inn restaurant at uh, the Mexico Pavilion. It's the one inside. Kind of reminds me of like the Blue Bayou vibes, but it's Mexican food, so I'm super excited. Every time I go in through Caballero, was I'm like looking at it, I'm like, I really want to try that. So Blaine and I are here. Uh, we're gonna have that for lunch. Maybe right through Caballeros, like get some, uh, maybe walk around, see some festival stuff. If not, probably maybe grab a Starbucks on the way out. We'll get some new merch. Who knows? Uh, we're gonna have an awesome time here at Epcot and try some yummy, yummy food. Hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go get some lunch. It's a gorgeous August day here at Epcot. Uh, just coming off the of day 23, announcing the uh, lounge that's gonna be at the front of Spaceship Earth. I'll show you guys where I think that's gonna be, most likely where it's going to be. Um, but yeah, not too bad here. We like parked nice and close and we're here, you know, in, around noonish for our lunch reservation. So it's really, it's, it's still between festivals and I know like the Halloween stuff has started. 20 minutes for Spaceship Earth, so it's a little bit long for Spaceship Earth, but not too bad. But let's make it right around the corner. I'll show you guys where I think the lounge is uh, here for here at Epcot. This is where I think the lounge is going to be. I could be wrong, but this would make the most sense if they kept this little area. But we'll see. But yeah, Spaceship Earth's right there. And in the like the concept art, it looked like you were looking out over here at World Celebration. So I think this might be where it's at. It would make sense, I guess. Right? I don't know. Comment down below where you think it's going to be if it's not here. Like, are they actually going to carve out a Spaceship Earth? I highly doubt that. So I think this is where it's going to be. But let's head over to the World Showcase. We got to go get our reservation. We made it to Mexico. So we're heading inside the pavilion over here to check in for our reservation. All right, we made it in here. And to check in, you come over here to the right. And this is where the left is Free Caballero, so obviously you don't go over there. But you come over here to check in. And I think we just have to wait in this little line to check in. Maybe? I'll figure it out. But here we go. Okay, we got seated. We just had to ask for a um, water side table, which we got like right away because it's this little two table in the corner. But we've got like the best view of the house. It literally reminds me of Blue Bayou. I love it so much. But yeah, this is what we're dealing with over here. There is a restroom for this um, restaurant too. So it's like specifically for this. But yeah, this is super like romantic and, and vibey. Here is the QR code if you like to see the menu more than what I'm gonna Hello, show you guys. Here is the menu. I'll try to go nice and slow. Like I said, scan that QR code if you're looking. Or just pause it. They do have some of the La Cava drinks here, like the La Cava avocado uh, margarita I've had before, which is really good. And then the back is just like the tequilas and the different margaritas. And you can get a flight, that's nice. Yeah, it looks really, really good. And you can get some mocktail, a uh, mocktail too. They have one, but hey, mocktails, that's great. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna order yet. So uh, I'll let you guys know when we order. We get to see boats going by. It is quite dim in here if you guys are coming in here, but I think it's like cool and vibe. I mean, it's supposed to be nighttime. That's like the point, but I don't know. The little light's cool. Uh, footage of boats. We kind of get the backside of people, so we can't wave at them. I remember as a kid, we at the Blue Bayou, and I was like waving at every single boat. It was hilarious. But yeah, it's super fun in here. <laughs> it's a blast. Yeah. We're gonna stick with water, it's just it's a little too hot to get drinks. Uh, and I, I wanna come back and actually go to La Cava and do like, get a margarita and all that fun jazz in a different video. So we're just gonna get some awesome food. I ordered the enchiladas and Blaine ordered the fish tacos. So, good stuff. I'm excited, I'm hungry. It's gonna be good. All right, our food came. Blaine got the uh, beer battered fish uh, tacos, it's cod. Did it say cod on the menu? Yes. Yeah, cod uh, tacos, which they look really, really, really good. Look, I like that it comes with three too, so it's not just like such a small portion. Um, and these are my enchiladas. Sorry, it's a little bit, uh, well, dark in here as you guys have seen. But mine is chicken enchiladas and it comes with plantains on the side, so it looks really tasty. Um, but yeah, the food came out really fast, but it's been, we're just enjoying the vibe and the view and just hanging out. But yeah, I'm gonna try these enchiladas. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, Blaine's tacos. Mm, 
batter on the fish is very light and fresh. A little sweet kind of like, I mean, maybe it's the corn, but it's like a corn batter maybe. Maybe. Mmm. Yeah, those are really good. Those are very tasty. Very nice, very light, but still enough food to fill you up, which is great. Okay, try my enchiladas. That tortilla, fresh. Mm. Definitely very authentic. Um, I've had dishes like this similar in Mexico. This is really tasty. The flavors are all there. It's exactly what I expected and it's delicious. I really like this. Oh, let me try my plantains. This is great. It's not spicy at all. So I don't have to worry about heat or anything. But this is absolutely delicious. It's so flavorful. It's so rich. This is so good. I'm gonna chow down on this. <laughs> it's been really funny for us to watch how the line works over here for the three caballeros, cause like a grand fiesta tour. Cause it'll go from having a line to like nobody in it, to now there's kind of like a line and then there's nobody in it. And then there's a little bit of line. So like we'll literally watch like empty boats go by and then full boats. So it's like funny to watch. Okay, we just got out. It was delicious. I would come back. The food was great. And we're gonna go on the Grand Fiesta tour now, if we can get over there. Uh, and I'll show you guys some of this merch when we come out. But there's like no line right now, so. Oh, oh. All right, heading in. Whee! Whoa. Well, Bombay. Hey, look, it's where we just were. Shocking. <laughs> Different vantage point from down here. It is really pretty in here. I'll give it that. I love it. Plenty of uh, water tables available, too. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the emo hairstyle for sure. <laughs> Okay, now I want to show you guys some of the merch that we have in this pavilion. It's actually like really cute stuff too. So we're going to start over here. This is such a cute mini, uh, is this Tervis? Yes. 34 for the Tervis. These little, big little shot glasses. $20, toothpick holders, whatever you want. Uh, these really cute um, coasters, 27 awesome throw blanket oh it's super soft for 60 and then like matching pillow and there's like a towel down there for your kitchen 
Uh, oh, look at this purse. This is stunning. Uh, $40. I love the little the Mickey on the skull. And then the same mini print. $24 for the mug. The ears are beautiful. Yeah, she's so cute. This is beautiful. Look how pretty this ornament is. And the little kid shirt. Oh, this is a pretty shirt. Like all the details on it. I like the side for 40 Super pretty. Let's keep walking over here. So there's some Coco merch in here as well, which is awesome. Some cold waters, I see. Coco sweater, or sweatshirt, uh, ears, a lounge fly, which is really pretty. Some kiddo shirts. Oh, this puzzle is beautiful. I love the colors. $30 for the puzzle. Super pretty puzzle. Seize your moment. Some more ears. This other Coco shirt. Um, we got some Coco little dog or pet stuff. Uh, official Coco cookbook, which is $27.99. Another mug, which is really cute. Yeah, really cute stuff. You can even get like a little guitar, which is cute. Let's go back out into the, the bulk of the pavilion. They have like a little market out here, which is some more traditional um, stuff. So you have like uh, schools and some fun Dios de la Morte. I think I said that wrong. Day of the Dead stuff. I apologize for murdering that. <laughs> um, some cool shirts. Like these schools are really beautiful. Love them. There's some of the ears for this pavilion. And just ears in general. Uh, we got some other stuff like this Mexico uh, shirt here. Some fun pins and flags. I'll show you guys this. Some really cool pins. Beautiful pins and some blind boxes as well as some Mexico flags. Some little mini sugar skulls. Little keychains. It's cute. Let's see what else. Some cooling towels. Here's like the Three Caballeros merch, kind of. Uh, it's still Mexico, but it looks like the three, you know, it has the Three Caballeros on it. Another Tervis, I'm guessing for 34. Yes, that's right. Uh, three Caballeros lounge fly, which is really cute. We even have some awesome uh, friendship bracelets you can get. Uh, $9.99 for a friendship bracelet, but like a bunch of different friendship bracelets, which is kind of cool. Uh, they also have the Three Caballeros ears. And I guess the bow, you can remove the bow, which is really cool. So that's something special for this, whoa, uh, for this pavilion in general. And then some more stuff over here. Like this hat's really cool. Enjoy that hat. Sorry, the lighting is a little off in here just because it's so dark. Um, some toothpick holders, some more coasters. This awesome sweatshirt it says Mexico World Showcase. A uh, half zip, that's really pretty. It says Mexico Epcot World Showcase over here. We've got some other cool things like some blankets, just like you can get when you're in Mexico. Awesome backpacks and bags made in Mexico. Very awesome. This is the San Angel Inn where we just ate. So that's where you enter. Just some more Mexican type products, but yeah, so this is the Grand Fiesta Tour entrance. This is the San Angel Inn entrance. So that's how you know the difference between the two. Uh, this is the queue, the outside queue for the Grand Fiesta, and then you kind of, this is how you exit the restaurant, and then you enter over there. And there's some water fountains over here, uh, as well as some more merch. So let's go over here. You can also get some awesome glasses, all sorts of glasses. Like these are beautiful. It's really pretty, classic. Margarita tequila like type glasses are really pretty. We also have this is more Mexico merch with the three caballeros. Uh, here's the the ears more in the light for you. Also have this awesome shirt. Really cool. This button down is beautiful. It is 64 for the button down the three caballeros, but it's cool. And then this is such a Mexico. This is this is beautiful. Oh, it's actually like soft. Three caballeros here. This is great. This would be a great souvenir. Super cute. This one is 59, so only 60 bucks. That's not actually that bad for like a sweatshirt here. 
And then La Cava de Tequila is here. This is the tequila bar. A uh, little bit pricey, but really good. It's the avocado margarita I have had, and it is delicious. Um, they have some also, some just like specialty drinks here and there um, that you can get throughout the year. And then you can get some awesome snacks in here, like Takis, uh, Sour Flowers, Tajin, just different little stuff from Mexico. So if you're interested, uh, <laughs> like this shirt, Fiesta, Siesta, Repeat. Yes, uh, just some more little merchandise here with some hats, some more blankets. These actually look really nice. Actually nice and fuzzy. Then just some little like shoulder pals in here it looks like. Are these shoulder pals or they maybe they just sit on your shoulder? These are really cute. Uh, $24.99 for those guys. But yeah, little mini sombreros. I think I have one of these from when I went to Mexico when I was a kid, which is hilarious. And these hats are actually really pretty. They're painted. They're gorgeous. Yeah, I really enjoy this pavilion. Oh, there's a little bit over here, a little bit more. Some more, ma these are, this is all brand new to us. Uh, and then uh, Abuelo and Abuela cups, which is also awesome for $16.99 for these guys. Very classic. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything for you guys. No, I think that is, that is everything. And like I said, there's restrooms over there oh these are cool look at these little boxes nifty um yeah restrooms over here restrooms also for the restaurant themselves this is more of look at the la cava de tequila there's no line right now which is awesome and then just kind of an, another little marketplace over here with some more little tchotchkes and stuff you can get i think they're wooden so these are actually like really pretty but yeah definitely just like a cool vibe in here it's awesome and it's AC so it's nice so you're not like sweating your face off and then if you go up here there is um, a cocoa like in the lobby type of thing but we'll, I'll give you a nice overview of this pavilion when we get up here but yeah it's really pretty really big I really enjoy it but this is kind of like the cocoa show place um, about the day of the dead and stuff like that but yeah, so there's just like a bunch of different little cases you guys can look at. Like I said, this is all uh, air conditioned, so it is quite nice to stop in here um, after being around for a while. So just some really cool stuff in here that you guys can look at, read about the culture. You can exit that way. <laughs> just some, uh, some cool stuff, like I said. And some of these like light up. I don't know if this one lights up anymore. Maybe if you step close to it, it will. Maybe. Oh, it does, when you step close to it. But yeah, like I said, really cool, really pretty. Nice to learn about some things. The Sugar Skull wall, the wall. Apparently I can't talk today, but yeah. Again, said fun vibes, good things to learn and to uh, teach your kiddos. Beautiful day here on the World Showcase. We're actually gonna come over here to the Nori Pavilion to uh, get some dessert. Well, at least Blaine's gonna get his school bread because uh, it's just really good and we can take it home. But yeah, we're gonna, I'll show you guys the inside of that bakery. We've been here before, but it's so good. All right, we're gonna go right in here. Looks like there's a little bit of a line, which is not big of a deal. Always is a line. But it's worth it. We got the goods. It was so, it wasn't that long of a line. Like the line's long, but it goes like pretty fast, but this is so worth it. They're so delicious. We got some of the booths for food and wine up over here. It's gonna be the Mexico booth. And I think this in the past has been noodle exchange. So we'll see what this becomes. But yeah, in the past has been noodle exchange. But yeah, this is definitely the Mexico booth. Yeah, it's happened in just a few weeks. We're gonna, start having all the yummy festival foods. The food guide came out this last, a uh, couple days ago actually. So I'm already scoping out all the new food I wanna try. Plenty of new stuff, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm very excited, Food & Wine's my favorite, one of my favorite festivals here food-wise, obviously. <laughs> so I'm very excited and it's gonna be tasty and a good time. I do think my theory is correct with that being where the lounge is gonna be. I just, I can't imagine it being anywhere else. Um, but we'll see, I'm excited for it. I think it'll be fun, I think it'll be pretty. Uh, a nice place to sit with great views, so I'm stoked for it. I like it. I like all the new stuff they've done so far. But yeah, I'm excited that they're bringing anything new more to this park, so that's good. We need more rides still, but 
I guess I'll take a lounge after all the new stuff that just happened. So uh, I'm not too mad. It'll be good, I'm excited. And with that, we are out for the day. Lunch was so good. I would totally go back to San Angel Inn. Uh, so good, the enchiladas was huge. I barely finished my food, but it was so delicious. The ambiance is great. Again, I'd visit there so many times. I love the Mexico Pavilion. It's such a fun place to be. Lots of good drinks, lots of good food, and lots of good shopping. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!